My name is Ruben Gonzalez Vicente. I'm a university lecturer at the University of Leiden. I have been studying uh, China's relations with Latin America and the Caribbean for the last 12 years. So this is a project that looks at issues of development in the relationships between China and the Caribbean. I'm interested in issues of trade, investment, development cooperation, and how the links with China affect uh, development processes within uh, the Caribbean. In the last year, my research has been funded by the Leiden Asia Center, and this has allowed me to continue the research that I was doing before in two countries, in Jamaica and in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and it's been really useful to, to be able to expand on previous findings and understand the developments in the last year in the relationship between China and the Caribbean. The issue of local agency is very important when trying to understand China's relationships with the world and with the developing world in particular. And it's an issue that is often overlooked. We put too much emphasis on China and what is China doing, what are China's aims, but local agency, uh, both at the national level in terms of national governments and civil society, tends to be very important. In the Caribbean, the, it, it changes. It depends very much on which country we are talking about. But Jamaica in particular, that is the country that I have been studying as part of this project, is a very interesting one and problematic in some ways. There's local agency, for example, civil society was able uh, to stop um, the construction of a port in Gold Island, and you can see very visibly also how civil society is affecting the trajectory of Chinese investment. At the same time, Jamaica is a highly indebted country that for the last 40 years has depended on IMF funding in order to keep its economy going. And for the last 40 years, economic policies in the country have been drafted in Washington, at the headquarters of the IMF, mostly. And this means that when it comes to drafting new economic policies, there's not that much experience within the country. And now this is a government that is faced with an enormous task of needing to manage the potential influx of lots of finance, uh, billions of US dollars that are being spent on infrastructure projects, on uh, reopening um, refineries. And uh, sometimes the way in which this is managed is not always ideal. You can always still see how local agency matters because the decisions made by both local governments and uh, civil society are shaping uh, Chinese investments. But it's not, this doesn't always necessarily mean that it's for a better outcome when you see that uh, there are issues of lacking experience or lack of transparency from the national government, lack of engagement of uh, local actors. So agency, local agency is very important, but it can reshape the trajectory of Chinese investment in different ways. One of the important geopolitical dimensions in a region like the Caribbean is that there are very small countries, sometimes with 100,000 inhabitants, that still hold one seat in the United Nations, which holds the same weight, at least in, in voting patterns, as that of China, for example. And gaining their favor means gaining sometimes, uh, in some occasions, uh, one vote in support to some of the initiatives that China may be pushing forward in the United Nations. So this is quite important uh, in, in the sense of how the region can help China to reach global objectives as well. Another dimension, which I was mentioning before, is Taiwan and how Taiwan is losing diplomatic ground in the region because of China's very important investments. Dominican Republic, the largest economy in the Caribbean region, uh, turned its diplomatic recognition from Taipei to Beijing a few years ago. And at the same time, this has implications from the perspective of countries like the United States that see that a region that they used to understand as their backyard is now actually being leaning increasingly towards China. I went to Jamaica specifically to study about an alumina plant in St. Elizabeth in the south of Jamaica. What happened during my stay there took me by surprise. The plant was closed and now it's closed for at least uh, three years, uh, needing to do repair work, needing to completely upgrade the plant, in fact. So for the first 10 days of my stay, people were 
relatively happy about having been able to find jobs at the plant. And for the second 10 days of my stay, people were quite tense about the prospects of being out of job for the months to come. This shows the importance of conducting research on site, being able to go to these countries and do field work, because projects that may seem seamless from the outside and suddenly stop for reasons that you cannot understand are much better understood once you are able to be at the places where they are being uh, developed and talking with the people that are being affected by the many different kinds of projects that Chinese companies now are conducting across regions like the Caribbean.